Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first video, hi, I'm Elena, and this is The Organized Money, where we talk about planning, productivity, organization, and managing money. If that interests you, then make sure that you click that subscribe button, as I would love for you to be a part of our little family. In today's video, I'm sharing how I create and set up my cash envelopes. Now you can create these on your own, but if you're interested in mine, they are available in my shop and the link will be in the description box. If you have never heard of the cash envelope system, it is a system where you put cash in certain pre-named envelopes in order to control your spending. Now basically you are creating these envelopes based on areas where you spend the most money. My categories are clothing, eating out, kids, nails, fun, hair, groceries, and miscellaneous. Now on the back of each envelope, I am also going to add a tracker so that I am able to keep track of how much is in the envelope at all times. On this tracker, I have the date, the description of what I have spent the money on, how much is either going in or coming out, and the current balance that's in the envelope. Now, I have eight envelopes, but all of them are not categories that I overspend on. Some of them are just so that I can set aside money in my budget that's going to come up during the week. The category that's the biggest issue in my home is the eating out. Other than that, the other seven categories that I have are just so that I can set aside and spend cash when I need it on those particular items. Now the category that I usually get questioned about the most is the miscellaneous category. My miscellaneous category is set up to cover any expenses that I am unaware of. So it's anything that pops up during the week. Great thing about this system is that it really works. It makes you aware of how much you're spending and you tend to reduce overdraft fees and wasteful spending. Now the cons of this system is that sometimes it's really inconvenient because you have to go to the ATM and also sometimes the categories can be really confusing. Like if you go to Target and you buy groceries, clothing, and home decor, which envelope do you take the money from? Really you should probably take it from all three envelopes, but it does take some time to get adjusted to the process. So now I'm just adding some cash to the envelopes and adding my starting balance on each one of my trackers. How I feel about the cash envelope system overall, I really do believe it's a great system to use. And every time we kind of get in a bind, I usually pull out this system and use it for the next month or so to get us back on track. I cannot lie, we're not always dedicated to the cash envelope system, mainly because I don't like to have to go to the ATM every week. It's really inconvenient, but anytime we are kind of pressed and are really on a tight budget for a certain week, I will use the cash envelope system. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video showing you how I set up my cash envelopes. Are you guys using the cash envelope system in your budget? Let me know in the comments. Make sure that you follow me on Instagram at The Organized Money, and I will see you guys in the next video. Until next time, bye guys.